hello galaxy of heroes so apologies this i believe after going on the forums and looking at the july calendar is the ground war assault battle which is a choice of jedi ugnor and another faction um jedi has only for myself anyway jedi um more specifically jedi knight revan uh jolie bastilla have been the core that i've had to use to be able to complete tiers one and two tier two being the hardest one yielding the all the lovely uh relic materials and whatnots that we're all after so this uh this was at the weekend and as you can see there is a distinct lack of a jedi knight revan a bastilla shan and a jolie bindu bindo whatever his name is jolie so what we've got here is the first of two comps so this actually i've done it back to front this is the tier two challenge so this is the the, the the harder of the two tiers i just wanted to see whether or not i could get through all of these so what we've got is um i'll talk you through uh, a relic seven jedi luke skywalker jedi knight luke sorry yeah i've just invented a new name for him there um so jedi knight luke a Relic 7 General Anakin Skywalker, a.k.a. his acronym GAS. And we've got a Relic 7 Shark T. All three of those are fitted with 6E mods. Um, Luke and GAS, both with primarily the, uh, the the main four mods being a fence set and then I think I've got I, I can't remember it's either crit chance or health on the the other two remainders just to make a set I tend to fire well, I tend to set everything so I look for mods if I don't have it there and then so I can make the sets and get the additional uh, boost that they give if at all possible um my old ben i've taken to relic five he has a he has at least one 6e mod uh the rest of them i believe are um five a's or whatever the gold ones you know the gold not the super golds um and he's running a speed and health set uh speed just to mean that he actually moves and um my little green froggy <clears throat> that appears disappears as we're going through this also known as hermit yoda is relic three uh i think maybe four of the mods are six e i did some tweaking uh just to change the speed round um i think it's for the the luke nukem squad um I needed to make my so my hermit yoda was fastest and now my hermit yoda is ever so slightly slower than my jedi knight revan for the tuning of that squad uh i'm not a big move mods around and i've talked through i realize i've just gone over the most important battle of this entire round this was the make or break and as you can see um it was definitely a make um, they're all nearly back to full health and full protection and that's facing the Grievous and his toaster mates and we're making <clears throat> I know these are speeded up but this just seems to be so much quicker as well um, we're still getting the group attacks we're getting the group attacks through Luke's lead um and of course not only are we getting those but we're also then getting the benefit of master's training they all have master's training applied so every time the little green um disappearing froggy does or awards someone master's training again all of them are going to go so we've got two lots of group attacks we've got the assist that will 
that Anna, uh, that no, not Anakin, that Luke can call forward. Um, it's it's a pretty pretty good squad, and Gas obviously has that daze on one of his abilities, so even better. So you know, you daze them, they can't assist, so they're not going to hit and and cause as much damage. Um, but yeah, we're just really romping through, which um, I. I I expected it, but expecting and realization sometimes are um, sometimes differ, shall we say? So you know, however much you expect something to work really well, till you try it, you, know, you don't know. It's Schrodinger's cat. We either do or we don't, but there is no try. Uh, mixing metaphors there somehow. Quick slurpy of the tea, so uh, I'm trying to hold on to as many of the the big attacks. Apologies if you can hear the dog in the background. The postman has obviously arrived, so um, I tend to focus down if I can on a Sarge Ventress. She is my number one priority to remove from the hollow table here, uh, purely because her ability removal uh i don't i just don't want that i want to keep all my lovely green bits because they just mean i hit a lot harder so she is always going to be the first one that i go for um and then obviously i don't have uh, a grandmaster yoga passing around all the buffs so they've got to apply their own buffs um and they're doing that quite nicely um yeah it's uh, it was uh, a novel experience for me to be able because I've, I've tried various comps. I had tried Luke in a Jedi Knight Revan comp and I just couldn't get that to work. So, um, you know, spoiler alert, I think you kind of know where this one's going already. We're doing pretty well. We've got the group attacks going. Um, now we've got to worry about... Well, worry about... Now all we've got to do is dispatch Dooku and... Newt, which, you know, yeah, we're just waiting for everything to get in place. I reckon that Gas is going to do, there you go, Gas is going to do the honours with Dooku and Newt. Yeah, Newt's Newt. So, <clears throat> there's your proof. That was the tier two. Tier one, so you may notice that I have been a couple of changes here. So, <coughs> excuse me sorry um this time round uh luke obviously has remained the same still r7 ezra is relic 5 um isla is relic 2 isla's been remodded i i i can't even remember what i had on her but I've gone more kind of uh, potency and crit chance uh, mods on her. Not sets as, as per se. Um, I think I might still be a crit damage set and a potency set, I think. But she's like 107% potency and... 90% crit chance or something so you know, the idea here is just kind of like um, the assists and everything that we're going to get they're all Jedi so they all can do their bits there and again this was a okay I, I did it with that so I knew that the tier 2 team would obviously it would be a, you know a, a, a much easier task here however i did want to try um i think i tried my isla stupidly in uh, uh one of the early light side tb rounds and yeah she needs to be far higher relic for that um still got the acid test here but grievous has almost gone and of course we've got the fact that Luke can, and well, we don't even have to worry about that. We just literally just battered whichever to whichever toaster that was that had taunt. Um, so yet again, this one works. Um, 
Phase four. Phase four on a couple of these challenges on the assault battle things normally are the make and breaks. Uh, the biggest one that stands out to me and the one that I just cannot be asked to shift enough mods to be able to do is the Night Sisters, Darth Sid. Um, you know what? You know, uh, personally, that one's set too high. That's that's just ridiculous ridiculous levels that you need to do and even with those it still seems to be very rng dependent whereas all the rest invest in the squads you know get them to up to a certain level uh, going back to what i was saying the night sisters you know the certain level just seems to be far too high uh anyway yeah uh, that's 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 taking away from this and i don't want to take away from this this was if out of out of the two runs i would say that this was the more rewarding um because i'm using two characters that i haven't really used for a very long time namely isla secura and ezra bridger yes um they're work in progresses so you know since the introduction of jedi knight luke i have been trying to work on my jedi somewhat or at least the ones that seem to you know offer the best synergy and that and this this comp just yeah really does and as you can see you know we're healing and that we're back to what was it full health full protection everywhere i mean that's gonna ebb and flow as we go through the, these rounds well, not so much with this one because this one should be relatively straightforward on just taking them out again i'm trying to use basics i think i did the first one just to give them all maximum health protection in preparation for the final round here we go as again as discussed sarge ventress is the one that i want gone before the rest of them just that she doesn't steal all their buffs but she's stunned at the moment so i'm i'm in a nice position where i literally can just pick and choose who we're hitting um dooku found out he got hit there oh dooku down repeat dooku down yeah yeah fun times uh most enjoyable second round as i say if anything more enjoyable than the first one the first one had gas in it we all know that gas is great but there we go evidence coming up that this was tier two tier one even that's it two tiers no jkr thank you for watching